The Lab Conduct. Don't play a lot of anthology games, do we? Actually, yeah, the idea of a horror anthology video game isn't really a common idea, is it? I'm trying to think if I played one before. I have one in my Steam library. Log Cabin something? Lake View Cabin something something? We have Artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from Crash Site B. At the moment it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. It occurs to me that I called it a horror anthology, but that makes two assumptions. One that it's an anthology, and one that it's horror. We don't necessarily know for sure yet. It might just be that the first one was spooky dooky and the other ones might not be. And it also might be that there's some sort of continuity or through line between them all. And they might not all be separate stories. So we'll see as we go, I suppose. But my first guess is horror anthology. And the aesthetic hasn't changed too much yet. So I can't look over there, but there's a creepy little experiment thing happening like right behind me, which I kind of wish I could look at. Let's see, the screen's a bit bigger this time. More of our view. We just oh, once again we just have a computer. All right, the, the mouse actually doesn't do anything here. M, H, okay. Move between pages by pressing the bracketed things. Yeah, thanks, game. <laughs> by putting that in the secret third page where I'd already know that. Press tab to roll over to the test chamber. Ooh. Hello. So we know. Then it says roll over because we're in a rolling chair. You can even hear it. At the chamber, I can use my mouse to select and interact. Okay, so there my mouse works. Manual. Experiment. Subject J1986MEM is enclosed in solid outer layers. 1986 again. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. Experiment 1. Alright. Electromagnetic spectrum. X-ray. Required apparatus. Camera. Monitor set to X-ray. Charge CC86 X-ray device. TV input modes R3, IR, XR. R3 is RGB full color. IR is infrared. XR is X-ray. Okay, so I need to change the TV to XR. It's probably currently on R3 or something, because that's normal. And then I do... Get the cameras turned on, get everything else turned off, likely. And then charge the x-ray device. Is that all over here? I think that's the camera. Oh, there's the x-ray view. Awaiting x-ray data. Okay. That's a drill. That's the camera, right? Or is that the x-ray? Seems like the camera. Digital signal generator. Variable laser generation unit. Sync master. 
TC86. Was that the x-ray? Yep. You. So that's the x-ray. Okay. Good work. The x-ray is coming through now. There's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material. And no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. Did, they, did you say surrounding organic material? New experiment task. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low-powered red laser to begin with. Okay, so now we're using a red laser. So, two. Concentrated light. Laser required apparatus. Laser, two. Light generator set wavelength. Monitor RGB. Okay. I think you're turned off right now. Turn off the camera. Set you to RGB. Nothing, yeah, nothing here says camera. So I think the camera being off is good. Monitor is set. Now we do the laser 2 light generator set, set wavelength to 650. So you. Good. Do I just hit Sync Master now? Nope. I believe everything else is turned off that's supposed to be turned off. Oh, no, you're supposed to keep the camera on, apparently. That's a heart. No reaction from first stage. Let's try high frequency. We're apparently shooting a heart with lasers. Now we'll try using a green laser. Keep trying to click. 510. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. Why are we shooting lasers into a heart? What are we hoping for? 455 five for blue. Ah, my ears. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. There's no activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. Now we just need to animate all the other pieces of the Frankenstein monster. Alright, resonant frequency. Test the acoustic resonant properties of the object. Begin with generating 250 Hz sine wave with amplifier set uh, gain set to 1. So 250 and 1. First of all, let's turn you off. Laser. We are using a signal generator. That's going to be you. 250 hertz sine wave. Yeah. Oh, this is an interesting little control scheme. There we go. Oh wait, 250. Whoops. So 250 hertz sine wave. But we also need to gain the amplifier. It must be this thing on the right. I think I can read that as being one, two, three, four, five. So if I just very, yeah, very carefully go to the first dot. of a 
response. Uh, updating the experiment now. Now we're going 550 and 5. Okay. Not psyched about that sound. Oh. Was it 500? I thought it was 5... Did I just miss say 550? Yeah. I totally, like, correct... I, that happens... It's amazing how much that happens when I'm playing games. I will read the correct thing and process the correct thing, then say the wrong thing, and then I'll afterwards remember what I said and be like, wait, was that actually the answer and not the thing I just thought? And then I'm like, nope, I thought the right thing. I just... My words were just the wrongs. Uh oh. Seeing some fluctuations in activity should increase to the risk of damage. What about uh, the volunteer? Okay, we're going to push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Running out of time? He clearly sounded like he was leaning away from the microphone and talking to somebody else in the room, so it, so it sounds like he's communicating with another person. Let's see. Switch to square wave. Seeing good activity on this side. Seeing definite spikes in movement. I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous, but you need to trust us and keep going. Surprise, it's actually your heart. Not nah, obviously, it's in a box over there, presumably, but still. Test the acoustic re resonance properties of the object. Maintain gain of five in square waveform. Bring waveform frequency to one kilohertz. Oh, that's great. What can go wrong, right? Uh... Uh-oh. 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 What are we doing and why? Alleviate the discomfort. We just blew up a heart. The protective casing is off. Proceed to drill the surface. Why do we just blow up a heart? Why are we doing this? Let's turn you off so I never have to hear you again. Blah. An uncomfortable sound. Okay. So now we're drilling. Wasn't expecting the heart to explode only halfway through the process. Are we gonna fix the heart? I doubt it somehow. Should I really be exposing myself to whatever's in there? We're gonna switch the drill on. Turn everything else off. Okay, so it's just- it's, so that's all it is. How is the computer still on if everything else is busted? This whole thing's starting to feel like surgery on some level. Like, you know, like you drill into somebody's body, for example, or you experiment, you do things with their heart. Like now, like, I associate drills with going through somebody's skull in surgery. Make contact with the artifact, open the test chamber. That sounds like the ter worst idea. Safety instructions. Use safety goggles and gloves at all times. Am I wearing those? 
Do not leave the container unattended during experimentation. It is extremely dangerous to handle any items within the container. Please ensure that your next of kin is updated at HR. As per your agreement, follow all instructions exactly. Fix. Equipment layout. Oh, look, that tells you what everything is, just in case you couldn't figure it out. I was able to, like, squint and just barely make it out. Like, it's it's hard to read some of those labels. Uh, sink master monitors, x-ray. Yeah, we've used everything. I guess I literally just click on it or something? This is a bad idea. The hell is happening? I'm time to remember. Wait, am I gonna find out that I'm a machine or something? Like what? Mmm, <laughs> thanks for that. See now, you have a connection to the entity's inner core. It's like a conscious black box. It can show you its memories. Look into it. The visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand. That you can play out. It's so uncomfortably close to my face. This sucks. Go away! Oh, and you highlight it and it flashes. That means I have to click on it again. I don't want to, though. Uh oh. Uh. Memory retrace, temporal interface conversion. You wake up in the cryopod, struggling. You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. Struggling against gravity, you force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship's hull. Poisonous atmosphere fi uh, spills into your your craft. You're in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Get out of here. Seems to be a reoccurring thing in these games. Memory action unavailable. Command not recognized. Look around. Craft is broken beyond repair. There is wreckage all around. The airlock is locked tight. The computer terminal adjacent blinks. Look at terminal. The monitor blinks, demanding attention. The system looks usable. Use terminal? You tap at the screen and use the airlock door. You tap at the screen and the airlock door sputters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of its reserves. Exit through airlock. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These memories are different and unlike the others. There's more detail here. Less hazy. Lean in. See what else it hides. It seems like we've encountered an alien race and they have like a some sort of psychic black box technology and we're trying to incorporate we're trying to go through the memories of this dead person, alien creature. You squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Are we getting all of this? It's describing the moment we found the ship. Mr. Asian, please continue. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. 
the so the ship has crashed, he gets out through the airlock, he's in pain. Tend wounds. Stand up. Leave. Look around. A crash site. Smoke billows from the down ship. Ex exterior lights flickering on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Study star patterns. Walk away. Get up. Search wreckage. Um, I'm not, <laughs> I'm just not sure what they want. Uh, it's just a description of an environment, and I don't have like a goal, which really is how you focus your behavior in a text game. Touch. Wreckage. Go to wreckage. Sleep it off, bro. Um... What do you want from me? Um... How about help? Great. Um... Go to wreckage. Touch metal. Move... M move metal. What? Really? With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Now look around. A circle of artificial lights surrounds you. Set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure steps out a silhouette and walks towards you. So it's first- we're talking about, like, first contact here. Rawr, attack. Attack. Attack, figure. Go to figure. Ah. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. You should be proud of yourself. Oh, great. So people keep dying, huh? Great. I'm glad this thing covered in blood apparently keeps killing people. Thanks. Happy times are here to stay. We awake. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. Um. Look around. We are in a bed. In a small and artificially lit room with a single door, there's some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor. Doesn't matter. We didn't put this entity in quarantine. It expired at the crash. Whose memories are these? When did this happen? So now we're not dealing with the memories of the creature they know about. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into your chest. They have tortured us. Um... Did they do like an autopsy? And that- but it was still alive? Remove wires. What just happened? What's we There's been a disconnection in quarantine lab 15. Find out what's going on. 
We yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together we all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. So they have like a hive mind it would appear. And so by going into one a part of the uh by incorporating into part of like the black box thing, I, I seem to have joined the hive mind. I might even be controlling it in some way. What if these supposed black box things aren't black boxes? What if they are the organism and the body is was like the was like the artificial machine that it that it uh, pilots? Except that's of course made of matter, of like organic matter, like a reversal. That's creepy. Okay. Um. Get out of bed. Leave bed. Oh yeah? You think we're gonna stop? Is that what's gonna happen? I don't think stopping is an option, going by how this game generally works. Ah. Is that the crash? That's like a turn signal, though. Ah. Thanks for that part. Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and the lock clamps shut. We are alone together. Use device. What is that? We haven't seen that before. What is it doing? It's using the tool we recovered from the crash site. It's in our system. It's sending something across the network. It's broadcasting. Mr. Asian, please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. We had to know more. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. You don't know what this might do to you in the long run. How do you know what you're doing here? Huh, can I click on you to n learn what the symbols mean? Ah, 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 I hate it. Okay, uh, oh geez, that hurts to look at. Okay, so you're the eight. Uh, two, oh, Jesus. I don't like this at all. Oh, fuck. They go so fast. That one looks like a K, I think. Maybe it's that one. The two thing is across from the... No, this is what the one that's by the two. I think. Is that it? I don't like this. This is... Ah. Uh. Maybe these two are mixed up because they look similar? Yep. Are these the eyes of Ara? Hi, friend. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen here?
and they lived happily ever after. Achievement unlocked. Revolt. Well, these are intriguing little stories, aren't they? It really is like a little, like, yeah, at this point I could say it's probably a horror anthology. What creepy little scenarios that then end up being... Apparently, the theme seems to be that they turn into text adventures. Either are immediately text adventures or they become one. Alright, see you guys next time for the station process.